Don't worry, the video will begin soon, but first, I wanted to tell you about our wonderful sponsor, Glocusant. I just recently got this Glocusant LED neck reading light, and I was a bit skeptical at first. A light that wraps around your neck instead of hanging from my wall that requires dreadful wires to light up my room? Hogwash, I say! But when I tried it out for myself, boy, was I enlightened. This thing is amazing! The only way it could get better is if my own eyeball could shoot light, but that ain't happening anytime soon, Elon Musk! So the neck light is the best thing out there. The LED neck reading light is exactly how it sounds. It's a hands-free light that comfortably wraps around your neck and lights up anything in front of your face. It has three different brightness modes for whatever occasion. Dim, bright, and police helicopter spotlight, just in case anyone was sleeping while you wanted to use it. If you're like me, and you work too late, and procrastinate into the night, and want to get some light reading in, the neck light is perfect to light up the pages hands-free so you can read in peace, while keeping the power bill lower than your rent bill. And it's got a super cool feature where you can change the color of the light from normal to cool blue to burning red. Want to read a scary book? Get in the mood with some red light reflecting off your pages. <laughs> so awesome! My favorite part is that it's comfortable around your neck and you can easily adjust it with this springy, springy swivel contraption like an elephant trunk so that you can point it in any direction that you want and where you want it to go so that it always illuminates your book or nipples but mostly your book. And don't worry, I've tested it myself by swinging it around like nunchucks, and it's super durable. Don't swing it around like that though. You'll hurt your sister or my lamp. I promise I won't do it again. The first time I wore it, I actually fell asleep with it on without even realizing. That's how comfortable it is. But if you have an irrational fear of scarfs or something like that, and you don't want the neck light, they also have their USB rechargeable book light. It's great! It has all the same features as the neck light, aside from the nunchucking. And in my opinion, it gets even brighter than the neck light. My eyes! The clip slides right onto your book and holds strong so it won't slip off. And it won't slowly droop so you don't have to constantly readjust where it's pointing. Sorry, sarcastic ghost boy, you're fired! Come on, man! You keep falling asleep and drooping the light, and it's weird that you watch me sleep. I don't. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and you can get a Glocusin neck reading light or the rechargeable book light for yourself. Just in time for the holidays! It would make a perfect gift for you, your friends, or someone in your family that loves to read. And did I mention they come in a bunch of different colors? Win, win, chicken, din, din. So click on the link and upgrade your reading. I promise you won't regret it. Now back to whatever you were watching. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Investigators! All tied up by John Patrick Green. Previously on The Investigators. <gasps> Why did you just scream? Because I'm scared of hard work. I'll see you later. Where are you going? I'm going to use the bathroom, excuse me. That's not the bathroom. Oh my gosh, don't come in. It's a huge one. I'm gonna be at least 11 minutes. Okay, I'm out of here. How long have we been in this toilet? Longer than usual. It's been like two weeks. Do you have any eye drops? I'm naked. We've gotta stop this ghost pirate. We can't have a giant eyeball floating around. What if I was in disguise? I've got the perfect disguise. And there. How is it? It's perfect. Now that we blend in with the pirates, let's go Jack Sparrow this book. I mean, run away like a weirdo? Welcome back, mateys. Did you find Peter Pan? Who the heck is Peter Pan? Wait, you're not my crew. Out of me way, you alive milky hams. Now, which one of you smells like he hasn't showered in two weeks? Pfft, what the heck is a shower? I will now read the plan. Huh? Hmm. I can't read! Ah, uh, no matter. We'll just kill them all. With laughter. 
Come on. Let's shove off, you smelly, drippy butts. You know what, Brash? Throughout this whole book, I feel like we haven't investigated anything. We're just kind of along for the ride. Then it's time to kick things up a notch. I can't kick anything. I'm an eyeball. Ah! Ah! I have an idea. <laughs> well, that worked. Everyone's in a jamboree. Okay, let's go talk to Willy Nilly. Finally, some investigating. No, I really need to use the toilet. Really? You gotta go again? We just spent two weeks in the toilet. Well, on the bright side, if things go well, maybe we can finish in this part. Then you can use the toilet all you want. Let's just hope that nothing pops up. You mean nothing poops up? Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. For a poop deck, it doesn't smell poopy. Arr! Who goes there? Mango, it's the pirate who saw us before we were in disguise. Better lay the pirate talk on thick, brash. We be har to tark. With the carpton. Arr, nobody turks to willy-nilly when he be doing his captainly duties upon the poop deck. What about Ed? Did you just say, what a butthead? What? No! Get your eye patch out of your ears. Oh. Whoops. Thanks. How embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, while you're at it, do I have any spinach in my teeth? Uh, no. You're good. Now, remind me. What do we plan to do with these passengers? Seeing we hijack their ship? Um, R. Don't you remember? Wait a minute. I'm beginning to think you're not part of this pirate crew. What? Of course we are. Then answer more of these riddles for. First riddle. What does a pirate do after eating beans? Uh, fart. R. Correct. Second riddle. What is a pirate's favorite school subject? Art. Hmm. Are correct. That was an easy one. Riddle the third. What is a pirate's least favorite color? Uh, uh. Oh, 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 maroon. Are correct. Almost threw you for a loop there. Final riddle. What is a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? I got this. R. Nur. Incorrect. Tis the sea. Blow me down. You be them gators. Uh, right one gone missing. Uh, All hands on deck. And by deck, I mean them. Show these charlatans the ropes. That rope's called a halyard. That one down there is a downhaul. And this rope keeps me pants on. I meant time up, you rapscallions. I saw the rapscallion once. He opened for DJ Discount. Get rid of our fun, hon, cause I'm a green onion. You're not <laughs> getting loose from this. Arr, what do we do with these sly boots? Or shall we kill them? Kill haul them, that is. Yay! Yay! I say we stomp them, then we kill haul them. Yay! Yay! I say we let them go. Um. Um. Yay! Arr, let's make them walk the plank. No! Remember Willy Nilly's privacy policy? He wants all the passengers kept alive. Aww. Willy needs every single passenger for whatever he be planning on that island. Without these two... Without us? We will walk the plank! But we'll drown! We're amphibious. Oh, right! The vast then! This is more like hopping the plank. <laughs> 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 Where'd they go? It's too dark. Do you see them in the waves? Me? Uh, nope. I'm, uh, not wearing my glasses. So, um, everything looks wavy. Confound it. Willy Nilly's gonna be really disappointed. Get back to searching the sea dudes too. They'll still be billion dollars and them eight... I mean, one crew member to find. <laughs> Just the luck of the sea monkey bars. Oh. Oh. Why did oh. we jump ship? I had to make a rash decision. You mean a brash decision? How are we going to save anyone if we could barely save ourselves? Mango, you heard the pirates. Willy Nilly needs every single passenger for who knows what. Without us, his numbers won't add up. 
giving us time to figure out what Willie's mysterious piratey plan is and to find a way to stop it. But how? We don't even know where the pirates are going. We can track that pirate ship via Sea Orb's built-in tracking device. So long as Sea Orb stays on board it, that is. I should be getting a signal any second now. Any second now. Think or swim, that's what I always say. But since I'm tired of swimming, it's a good thing Sven packed this vest with these balloons. My skin was drying out from this salty ocean water. It's not like the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to. Dang it, I'm still not getting a signal. There must be some sort of interference or something. I'm telling you, we're in the Bermuda Triangle. It's Bermuda, and we're nowhere near it. If we're lost, then how do you know? Uh, Brash? There seems to be a shark circling us. Uh, hello? Excuse me? Oh, hey there. Can you tell us where we are? Where you are? I don't even know where I am. I'm just aimlessly going around in circles. I can relate. We were treading water all night, but it feels like longer. Nice to have someone else to talk to, though. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Uh, Yikes! The salty piranha has come back to finish us off! No! This is a different pirate ship! More <laughs> pirates! <laughs> Whoa! What plundering pickaroon is it going to be this time? Captain Hook? No, huh? I'm not Captain Hook. Captain Hookline! And Slinker. I mean, Slink R. Oh, it's Bill Plungerman! Ahoy, Mango and Barrage! <laughs> Let them down, me hearties. We haven't seen you since Off the Hook. Thanks for letting us off these hooks, by the way. Everyone's been asking when you'd turn up again. We're back by fan demand. And you're a pirate now? Aye, tis true. The last time we met, I, Bill Plungerman, had gained control over my snake arm slinker. Listen to me now. <laughs> but as it turned out, what is best for me is to share some of that control with my shiny, slithery counterpart. And what's best for me is to do the same in return. Maybe we can cooperate? By covering one eye each, neither of us has the dominant personality. Allowing us to function as a codependent organism. After the eye patches, going full pirate seemed like the next logical step. But not an evil pirate. We're more of a morally gray, Robin Hood type pirate. Arr. Speaking of eye-opening experiences, I'm glad to see you recovered from that mysterious coma, Brash. Thanks, Bill. Er, hook line. Come! Let me introduce you to the motley crew of the Plum Tart. Call me Mayquiz, R. Galcom Foop Tree at your service, R. I'm Tasha, Yar. That's Abraham up in the bro's nest. Don't you mean crow's nest? Nah, bro. Yo ho, bro. And this here is our quartermaster, Montague Baggy Wrinkles. That's a ficus. Yeah, a fighting ficus. Uh, trust me. You do not want to face that ficus in a sword fight. Oh, um, all right. So tell me, what were you two investigators doing out here on a balloon raft in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle? See, I told you. <clears throat> we were investigating a missing cruise ship when the one we were on was attacked by the dread pirate ghost Willy Nilly. <gasps> Willy Nilly? You've heard of him? Who? legend has it. A fearsome pirate by the name of Willy Nilly plundered a secret island of its sacred treasure. Like all ill-begotten riches, it came with a hefty price. Nilly was cursed to pay back the debt by delivering a thousand souls to the island before three hundred years pass. If he failed, his stolen fortune would disappear forever! Ah, uh, I've got plenty of time. So the tale goes, anyway. How long ago was that? Uh, what time is it? Oh, exactly 300 years ago comes sundown. Brash! 
That's why Willy Nilly needs all the passengers. He's finally gotten around to paying back the debt so he can keep his fortune. Okay, but why? It's not like he can use it for anything. He's a dead ghost. And it still doesn't explain why he's after Bill and Dallas. Of the Dallas discount stores? The very same. Land ho, bro. Land? We're nowhere near shore. Sorry. I meant jet ski ho, bro. Dread. Discount gas just doesn't go as far as it used to. <laughs> Must paddle faster. What a coincidence. Bill and Dallas. You again? Wait. If you're here, then you're not on the cruise, which means there aren't enough, uh, I mean... Enough what? Oh, nothing. We got some questions for you, Bill. Who, me? No, that Bill. Gee, there sure are a lot of bills in this book. Myself, Bill and Dollars, this overdue phone bill I have to pay, and Willy Nilly. Sure, right. Willy is a nickname for William, just like Bill is. Yes, but Willian Dollars doesn't sound like Billion Dollars. Uh... Hang on. If Willie is short for William, then Nilly must be short for Nilliam. So, the Dread Pirate Ghost full name is William Nilliam? So what? Dollars' great great however many greats grandfather's last name was Nilliam. Billion Dollars is William Nilliam Dollars! Ah, uh, he's Willy Nilly's heir! Which means your inherited fortune began with the cursed treasure he stole centuries ago! And that's the debt you have to settle! The family debt! So, are you working for Willy, or is Willy working for you? Talk, you slimy sea slug! You lily livered scallywag! You briny bilge rat! Very pority! Don't forget to throw in a few R's and yars. Right, right. Arr! Look, an albatross. Oh, where? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you can't do this to me. I'm rich. First your name's Bill. Then it's William. Now it's Richard. Make up your mind. Give him a Davy Jones workout. Then send him to the locker room. You wouldn't. I don't believe you. We'll make a daydream believer out of you. All right, all right. I'll talk. When I was a kid, my mother told me stories of my distant ancestor, William Nilliam. Or as he was known on the Seven Seas, the dread pirate Willy Nilly. Yeah, yeah, he stole the cursed treasure, blah, blah, blah. We got that part already. When Willie retired from piracy, he had a family and started a business with a borrowed bounty. A shave and a powdered wig, and I'm a respectable businessman. The wealth grown from that treasure was passed down generation to generation, along with the legend. It was said that if no heir paid back the debt in time, the ghost of Willy Nilly would come to claim it himself. It didn't matter to them if the curse was even real or not. Payment wouldn't be due in their lifetimes. Pass the buck! <laughs> that would be the burden of whoever inherited the fortune. When the 300 years are up, me! I hoped it was all just a fanciful bedtime story. Something my mom made up to get me to behave. Be good, a willy will get ya. But now I know, the curse is real. And if the terms aren't met, I'll lose everything I've ever earned. Every dime, every dollar. It can all be traced back to that centuries-old cursed treasure. I inherited 999,999,990 dollars. My business savvy turned it into a one billion dollar empire. What? That means you've only made ten dollars. Exactly! My business savvy is terrible. If this fortune disappears, I'll never be rich again. That's why you bought the cruise line in the first place. Not to make money, but so willy-nilly would have an easy time finding- SOULS! I was right! Bill Willie really is literally collecting souls! The ghost did all the collecting. I merely, uh, offered people the vacation of a lifetime. Yet when DeSoto washed up spouting willy-nilly, instead of putting a stop to all this, you sent out another cruise full of victims for him. What do you think is going to happen to everyone willy-nilly takes to this island? They just what? Starve? Surely it has a beach. 
They can eat all the sandwiches there. Sand. Which. Is. There. Seriously? First pirate ghost? Now sandwiches? What's next? What's next is we're going to save everyone. Where is this island, ten dollars bill? C- Collarbone Cove. Collarbone Cove? You know it? Never heard of it. It's just below Skull Island, above Spine Inlet, flanked by Rib Lagoon, across from Funny Bone Bay. Kickstart the tart, you motley crew! Make full sail for Collarbone Cove! I hope Sea Orb sees us coming. Billin Dollars has confessed to his family's fake fortune, but Willy Nilly is willing to pay the price of everyone's souls. Now that everyone is in danger, Mango and Brash race to the island to save the day. Will they make it on time, or will they get caught in a Willy Nilly trap? We'll just have to wait and see. In the epic conclusion of Investigators. You won't believe what happens. Investigators is copyright by John Patrick Green. And it's published by First Second. An imprint of Roaring Brook Press. I can't wait for this conclusion. Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Make sure you leave the video a like and subscribe. You don't want to miss this finale. Okay, got to go now. Bye.